Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to find the circumference of a circle when the diameter length is not given, and we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to determine what that diameter length actually is. So we know that to find the circumference of any circle, that is equal to either 2 pi r, or I actually like to use pi times the diameter of the circle. All right, so what we're going to do is notice that our diameter is the same thing as the hypotenuse of this right triangle. But we should also notice that we have an isosceles triangle because we have two marks here and two marks here. That's just something that indicates those sides are equal in length. And it is given that this side has a distance of four times the square root of two centimeters, which means this is going to be equal in length to this value right here. So what we're gonna do is go off to the side here and write a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we know that these two variables here represent the legs of our right triangle, which are the two lines that form our right angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four times the square root of two, and we are going to square that. And b is the same length, four times the square root of two, and we have to square that and set that equal to c squared. Now, what we're gonna do is take the number outside of our radical, this four, and square that. Four times four is 16. And whenever squaring something underneath a square root symbol, those two things cancel completely out, leaving you with two. So really, this is 16 times two. And because we have the same thing over here, we're also gonna get 16 times two, which equals c squared. All right, next we're gonna double 16, which is 32, and add that to 32, which equals c squared. And then we get 64 is equal to c squared. Now to isolate our variable c, we take the square root of anything squared. And like I said earlier, a square and square root cancel each other out, but we must do the same thing to the other side to balance our equation. So what we end up getting is c is equal to plus or minus eight. However, distance can only be positive, therefore, we can only take the positive answer. So we would say that the distance of this diameter here is equal to eight centimeters. But we're not finished yet. This eight is just the length of our diameter. We have to plug it into our circumference formula. So we're gonna write C is equal to eight pi centimeters which is our final answer. The problem told us to express in terms of pi. Now, if we wanted to round, we know that pi is about 3.14. And if we multiply that by eight, I think it's like 25.12 or something like that. But it's bigger than 24, a little bit bigger than that. So we could estimate and say the distance around the circle is a little bit more than 24 centimeters around, around 25 centimeters. But this would be our answer expressed in terms of pi. Well, thanks for checking out this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you back at my channel soon. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.